Hello there! Today I thought I'd do something a bit different here and I wanted to create a tier list of my favorite One Must Fall characters and robots. Because well, One Must Fall 2097 is one of my favorite DOS games of all time and I thought why not just go through the list for a bit of light entertainment here and I'll tell you which are my favorite characters and also, obviously more important, my favorite robots. This is, well, obviously a very subjective list. I'm not saying that these are the best robots. This is not a guide here for playing the game. It's just my personal opinion, which robots I like to play best and also which are the coolest in my opinion. So let's start with the characters, I would say. Okay, we're starting with Angel here. Well, I think she's okay. I mean, for the characters, I'm not aware of the background story, sorry for that, I'm not sure if there is one uh, anyhow, so I'm just going by looks here and I think, well, she looks okay, but a bit boring, a bit bland. Then we got Christian, um, I think he's a bit cooler, he has a bit more edge um, with his grim, very determined look here and I also associate him more with the game, so I think I give him an A here. Um, the same, I think, is true for Crystal, in my opinion. I mean, a pretty blonde, you can never go wrong with that, and having one eye covered makes her a bit more mysterious, so she's an A for me too. Next on we have Shiro, well, a bit of an older bald man, I don't think he looks that cool, so I guess I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him a D here, because yeah, I want to fill each line, want to go all the way down there, and yeah, I really don't like his character that much. Then we have, what's she called? Or is it a he? I'm not quite sure. Cosette? I think it's it's a woman, right? Uh, she has a earring, I think. Yeah, but other than that, uh, no, I think I still like Angel a bit more with the hair, so I'm going to give her the C. So our next older man here is Abraham, but well, he has a beard, so that instantly makes him cooler than Shiro. And I really like his smile, uh, I think he's quite experienced and is having fun playing the game, or well, it's not a game if you go in character, but um, he likes controlling the robot, so I'm going to give him a B here. Next on, yes, obviously we have the more, the most edgy character, the coolest character, and if I go back and remember playing the game when I was young, well, what can I say? This is an S for me. Um, I mean, not so much today maybe if I would play the game for the first time, but if I remember playing it back then, I really thought that he was uh, especially cool. Next on we have Milano. Um, I think it's interesting with the hairstyle. Um, and he's also smirking a bit, giving a bit of character. So he is cool, not quite sure. Is it an A, is it B? No, I think he's a B for me. It's okay, but not the greatest. Next we have Stefan. Um, he reminds me of a cartoon character that... Uh, Speed Racer. I don't know the name of the character, um, but he looks a bit like him, I think, from what I remember. It's been a long time that I've watched that anime. Um, but yeah, um, he definitely has uh, is the only one that shows a bit of clothing with a collar around, so that makes him more interesting. And I also instantly recognize him for One Must Fall, so this is going to be an A for me. And last but not least, we have Jean-Paul. From the name, I think it's a guy. It's always a bit hard to tell, but um, I think it's, it's a guy, but well, it doesn't matter anyway, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, he stands out with the bald hair, that's kind of cool, um, and I think when I remember correctly, I played him quite a lot, I selected him quite a lot when I played it back then, so, yeah, it's somewhere between a B and a C, I'm going to give it a B, yeah, he's, he's definitely more interesting than Cassette. Well, that's the characters done, now let's go to the really interesting part about the robots. We are going to start with Kronos here. Um, Kronos has the special ability that um, he can teleport around and he can shoot a crystal from his chest. Uh, I think that stuns the enemy, freezes, uh, freezes the enemy for a short duration. Um, other than that, I think from the design he's quite boring. Um, he's just a bunch of tubes, uh, quite slender, um, not really attractive to me. So. Yeah, also it's not one of my favorites to play. 
I mean, the teleporting sometimes is fun, so I give him a C, not a D, but yeah, it's not, not that great. Next on we have Electra. Um, I mean, when Electra is doing electric stuff, um, it's cool enough, but um, if you're just fighting with the bot, um, it's rather bland and I think, yeah, it's also one of the smaller bots, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it's just the silhouette is not really special. Yeah, I, I don't care much for Electra. I don't like playing with the bot and, uh, um, and I also thought that uh, it was kind of weak, but uh, that's up to debate, I guess. I'm not a professional one Mass fall player, but yeah, that's going to be a D here. Next, we have Flail. I think Flail is kind of interesting, um, just for the fact that uh, he got wheels and is rolling around and has a very unique silhouette. Yeah, and fighting with chains is also quite cool. Um, it's a bit slow. Um, I don't like playing him too much, um, but just for the design itself, I'm going to give it a B. I think it, it, it's a B. Uh, from the design, it's an A or maybe even an S tier. It's really cool, but how it plays, I would uh, put it on B. Next, we have the Gargoyle. Um, yeah, I'm a bit mixed on the Gargoyle. I mean, um, I think it's a quite a strong character because, well, um, I think he got the strongest jump attacks and air attacks, which is fitting for a Gargoyle character. Um, though if the enemy knows what he's doing, you can counter that quite actively um, from the design. I mean, having wings is cool, but he's not really flying with the wings. Um, from gameplay, it's okay. If I compare it to Flail, I, I think he's worse. If I compare it to Kronos, I think he's better. So I'm going to put him on C, but in front of Kronos, I think. Yeah, I think that's fair. Next off, we have Jaguar. I mean, Jaguar is the title character of the game almost. Um, you have it on the title screen and it's very recognizable. Um, it's the first character on the selection screen. Um, I think well, I would say it's also the easiest character to play. It's a great beginner's robot. Um, I don't think he stands out too much, um, neither from design nor from his move. He's more the middle of a ground character, um, but just, yeah, for the recognition um, and also, uh, yeah, because I, I just like the character and I also I should take a photo to show you. I also have a 3D printed version of that robot standing in my shelf. So I'm going to give it an A here. Next up we have Katana. Um, I always had a soft spot for Katana. I, I thought having blades um, as your fist was just cool. And also the animation when he spins around with the, uh, with all his special attacks or just his regular move is really cool. And doing the spin move where he turns around his own axis is also really great. So I'm going to give Katana an A here. I really like that bot. Um, yeah. Next we have Nova. So this bot is a special bot that you have to unlock via a cheat or I think you can get him in the tournament mode, but you can't just select him like the other bots normally. Um, what's really cool about the bot is that um, he's got a um, rocket launcher and a grenade throw, so explosions is always instantly cool for me. Um, also, it's uh, the biggest bot in the game and it's really, really hulking, uh, uh, menacing bot. I, I would give him an S for that just by the design, but um, he's weaker than you would think. Um, he's at first, you think that it's um, uh, an extremely overpowered bot, but if you play it against him uh, uh, for a while, you can. Uh, he's really kind of slow and you can outmaneuver him more easily. So that was something where I was a bit disappointed. So I'm going to give him an A. It's, it's, it's a great bot, but not the greatest. Next on we have Pyro. Um, as you can see from this small image, uh, there are the flames coming out on the side and he also has some attacks. And what I really liked is in the game that um, if you heat up an enemy robot, it really burns, it really glows uh, red, um, which was great. And he has this great accelerated spinning move where he uses his thrusters to uh, turn him around very quickly and then hit uh, everyone around, or well, the opponent um, if he's too close with his uh, fists. So I'm, I'm, and I also really like that he's wearing this um, kilt almost, uh, 
or you could say this dress. So it's a very unique shape that it's broader uh, on top and he's flying. Yeah, I, I really like Pyr Pyros. I don't think he's very strong. Um, I think he is fun to play, but not the most fun. Also a bit on the slower side. But yeah, I'm going to give him an S anyway. Pyros is, is just cool. I like fire, what can I say? <laughs> yeah. Next we have, um, yeah, I'm going to spoil this. We have my absolute favorite robot, Shadow. Um, he might not look like much. Um, if you haven't played the game, you can imagine that he creates shadow copies of himself that move really fast and they move forward or downward. Um, but what I really like about that bot is um, the bot is extremely fast. Um, I like uh, it's extremely fun to play if you uh, figure out how to play it. So at first I really struggled playing the bot when I was new to the game and I really didn't know what to do with it and it was all overwhelming. But after a while I really mastered that bot and I feel like it's the strongest bot in the whole lineup. Um, I could easily defeat any other player or uh, any other uh, AI component and any of my friends, which uh, does say much uh, with the robot and sometimes it kind of feels unfair if you're really launching into a barrage of very quick attacks right after another and the enemy is almost overwhelmed by it so I'm going to give it an S here um, yeah I, I'm a huge fan of Shadow Shadow's great and next on we have Thorn I think Thorn is all right I mean um, I think the silhouette and the design is really cool yeah, having these huge spikes and I really like that one move when he runs forward to the enemy and puts his uh, the thorns in front of him and picks them up and throws them if uh, it's not getting blocked. Um, that's really cool. Otherwise, he's rather slow. His kicks are... Yeah, well, they do a lot of damage, but they are really slow and kind of useless. I don't think he's too interesting, but he's alright. So I would put him on the B category, but behind Flail. I think Flail is definitely a bit cooler here, but yeah, still Thorn is also very cool. And last but not least, but maybe least, we have Shredder. And yeah, I don't like Shredder very much. <laughs> it's just, I think it's a boring design. I mean, um, uh, he can yeah, not cut off his hands, but his hands are hovering um, and you can throw them uh, against an enemy, which is not that interesting. And then he has this weird move where he kind of flies for a, a short distance and does a headbutt with his head. Um, I don't really like playing the bot. I don't think it looks really cool. Um, yeah, what can I say? I think that's, that's the least interesting bot, at least in my opinion. Yeah, so that's it. We got through this list quite fast. I hope you had fun and I would be really interested to hear what was your favorite bot to play or have you even played the game at all? If not, I can wholeheartedly recommend it. Um, I mean, um, my main issue why I'm not playing more fighting games is that I don't like games that have tons of combinations that you have to memorize and tons of buttons that you have to memorize. And yeah, so many of the more recent fighting games are I would not say overly complicated, but it's hard to get into. And one must fall is so nice to get into. You just have kick and punch and then all the combinations and you can, um, yeah, it's easy to learn, but hard to master. You can say that. I mean, I think the skill ceiling is not as high as in many competitive games. So it's probably not a good game if you want to go really competitive. I guess that's also the reason why it's not more well known. But if you just want to um, have a fighting game that's easy to get into and that has this great tournament uh, campaign mode where you can upgrade their robots, um, one last for you just can't go wrong. The game is so cool. It has so cool atmosphere. It has amazing music. And yeah, just go out there, play it. You can play it for free. Um, just have to use DOSBox on emulator or, well, obviously, if you still have a DOS gaming PC, you can play it on there as well. And yeah, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot of other videos on here, more scripted videos mostly. So this is a bit of an outlier here, but I hope you still liked it, uh, had some fun here. And with that, see ya. Thank you.